Today's video is all about one of skincare's most beloved ingredients, hyaluronic acid. Love it or hate it, you're hard pressed to dive into the world of skincare and not come head to head with hyaluronic acid as an ingredient or a standalone serum. For those of you who are sensitive to hyaluronic acid as an ingredient, it can be hard to actually avoid the ingredient because it's in so many formulations. A lot of our favorite products have some type of hyaluronic acid in the formulation. I would love to hear from you if that's the case or from others who just can't get enough of this ingredient in their skincare routines. Now, if you're a skincare enthusiast, you're probably very familiar with The Ordinary's original hyaluronic acid serum. This was one of their most popular serums. But did you know they recently reformulated it? I've actually done videos on The Ordinary's original hyaluronic acid serum and how it was not actually my favorite serum. In fact, I prefer their amino acid serum or their marine hyaluronic serum. So to say I was excited for a new launch of an old fan favorite is an understatement. The original formulation well known for its hydrating properties. However, this new formulation really takes it to the next level. For those of you who don't know, I have combination skin that's also rosacea prone and sensitive and tends to lean dehydrated. So I'm always on the hunt for extra hydrating serums and ingredients to put into my skincare routine to help combat the effects of my dehydrated skin, which for me has worsened as I grow older. I'm 49 at the time of filming. I have to say this new formulation is taking the serum to the next level. They've actually optimized the different types of hyaluronic acid that they're using in this one as opposed to the original. This one actually has five different types of hyaluronic acid, a low, a medium, and a high molecular weight combined with a cross polymer hyaluronic acid as well as a hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. And these five hyaluronic acids are working together, allowing better absorption into multiple layers of the skin, which in turn is giving you better overall hydration. Plus they've added an extra boost of vitamin B5 or panthenol and included vitamin E. And I can just kind of picture it, the ordinary skincare lab, all these people with white lab coats and their degrees and PhDs thinking to themselves, how can we improve upon this cult favorite of a serum? We know it can be better, we know it can. And one of them said, in addition to all the extra hyaluronic acid I just explained, how about we add ceramides into the mix? And they all applauded and said, yes, let's do it. Did that create a good visual in your mind? But however it transpired, thank goodness they did because ceramides are an integral part of my well-aging skincare routine, but also for my rosacea prone skin. Ceramides are naturally forming lipids that are found in the outermost layer of the skin. They're kind of the glue that holds all our skin cells together and they form a protective barrier against stressors from the environment and hydration hydration and loss of moisture from your skin. However, of course, as we age and exposure to sun damage and all the other things we do to our skin can minimize the amount of ceramides in the skin and then also impact our skin's ability to protect and retain that moisture in our skin, which then leads to dryness and potentially more sensitivity and overall a compromised skin barrier. I already have all that with my rosacea. I don't need anything else compromising my skin barrier. And because of my rosacea, an impaired skin barrier just go hand in hand or cheek to cheek. I just said that. Speaking of which, I created a playlist of all my rosacea videos because one of you suggested I do that and that was a very good idea. So I'll link that playlist that talks about all the things I do for my rosacea at the end of this video and in the description box below. What was I just talking about? Literally no idea. Oh yes, ceramides. I'm always making sure that I'm introducing products with ceramides in both my morning and evening skincare routine. Now, generally it's in a moisturizer that you're most apt to find ceramides in the formulation, but to have it in a serum like this is just enhancing that overall hydrating, calming, soothing experience. I think I got to this point in the video and didn't even talk about the benefits of hyaluronic acid for the skin. Hyaluronic acid is a powerful humectant that can really draw moisture into the skin. And when it brings that moisture to the surface layer of your skin, the added benefit in addition to hydrating your skin is also plumping the look of your fine lines and wrinkles. To me, a well hydrated, plumped, 
juicy looking skin is what makes me look more youthful. So it is always what I'm striving for. If you don't think hydrated skin makes a difference in your overall appearance, just check out this picture of me. I love to show it on my videos because this was in my early 40s. My skin is dull, dehydrated, my wrinkles are really deep set versus now I think I look better years later than I did back then. And the beauty of hyaluronic acid is it really does suit all skin types. Whether you have dry skin, oily skin, combination skin like me, incorporating a hyaluronic acid serum can do wonders for your complexion because it's like giving your skin a healthy drink of water. Don't forget, oily skin is an overproduction of oil. It doesn't necessarily mean you have enough moisture or hydration in your skin. I didn't even talk about what I think is one of the best improvements in addition to all the ingredient improvements that were made to this serum, but honestly, it is the texture. The texture of the original hyaluronic acid serum tended to leave a tacky finish and was kind of gloopy actually but this one just so lightweight glides onto the skin and sinks in effortlessly to the skin making it ideal to layer in your skincare routine and just have a nice beautiful dewy finish to your skin in my opinion the best way to use a hyaluronic acid serum in your skincare routine for the most effectiveness is to use it immediately after cleansing, toning your skin, and apply it to damp skin. I believe it was Lab Muffin Beauty Science who recently debunked that you don't actually need to apply hyaluronic acid to wet or damp skin to gain the best results, but personally I've had that experience. It seems to work better for me in that way. Although I trust her completely, I'm just sharing my own experience. I have also found that Hyaluronic acid serums in my skincare routine work best in the summer. Where I live, it's very humid and there's a lot of moisture in the air. I feel like the hyaluronic acid works better in that environment versus in the winter months where I live where it's actually very quite dry and arid here. You can use hyaluronic acid in your morning or evening skincare routine. It pairs well with everything else in your routine. It's just an easy serum to incorporate into an existing routine. So why the change? Well, I think all of what I've explained is just just a simple explanation of how they've taken something that was a real fan favorite and made it even better. And skincare science is always evolving, so a standalone hyaluronic serum years ago was really renegade on the market. And now that we see the benefits that can be gained from infusing all these different ingredients into one serum, I think we've kind of seen the ordinary take a departure in their most recent product launches from the kind of single ingredient formulations that made them famous in the first place. What first got me into skincare with The Ordinary was the idea of layering different serums all together into an extensive skincare routine. Well now, I much prefer something more simplified, thoughtful formulations that take into account everything I need to help support my skin barrier, and I think this product just successfully achieved that. The Ordinary also seems to be sloughing off some of their older formulations perhaps that haven't been selling so well, bringing on new products. I've done videos on their recent launches and also some of the recent products that they've discontinued. Again, link those at the end of this video and in the description box below if you missed them. So please drop a comment below on how you use hyaluronic acid serums in your routines. If you've tried this new formulation or are looking forward to trying it and your thoughts on that. Editing me here, I forgot to tell you that for this size, which is 30 mils, it's $12 Canadian at the time of filming. If you haven't watched these videos, be sure to watch them next. Thanks as always for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.